chair. I want to speak on behalf of thousands whose voices are not being heard in my division. Um, thousands of NAD members do not agree with women's ordination, and the initiative bringing it to the front has served not to unify, but to polarize our division. As the president of GYC, which is the largest annual youth and young adult conference in the Adventist Church, I hear from those within the NAD who feel their voices have not been heard, or at least not been acknowledged. There are those in this division who believe that we should be considerate of the world church and what regional beliefs will mean for our unity, rather than feeling that the world church needs to be considerate of us. And if the division has not acknowledged all the conventions within their own division, how can we anticipate that they will appreciate and considerate the convictions of the world church on other issues when we have once set a precedent that each locality can decide for itself? And that's one thing. The second thing is that, uh, Mr. Chair, I am a young woman, a young adult, an ethnic minority, and a leader of one of the largest youth movements in Adventism. And Mr. Chair, God has already called me to work for him, and that is all the calling that I need. Not all young people, not all young women, and not all North Americans want our church to be divided for the sake of somebody putting their hands on us. And while people recognize my work as president of a young adult conference, they should give more recognition when I become a wife next February and a mother after that, since the spirit of prophecy says that that position is higher than the minister of the desk and the king on his throne. 20 seconds. We should focus on giving back the dignity and honor that it deserves. I say no to the question and no to dividing the church. Okay, very good. That's, uh, that's...